I'm excited to have you on the podcast. I can't think of two better ladies to spend my morning with, to be honest. I'll, I just, we always have fun together, don't we, ladies? So that the people that are working those can have a livable wage in our community. I know you've done a lot of work on the Alice Project, and it's amazing how many childcare workers will be uh, in Alice and accepting any kind of help that they can get because they because their wages are so low. So we're really working on that. But in the process of working on it, you know, rates go up. Uh, families are so it's just a, this vicious cycle. But uh, it's very critical. I think I mean, any, any anybody can tell you if you don't have childcare, you can't go to work. One mom in particular comes to mind, you know, she was in that Alice and she, you know, was struggling and she finally got herself where she is now, which is in a great place for her and her kids. She's even come to us and say, hey, I want to pay for one child to go to camp for the whole summer. You know, what what does it cost? You know, so they, they give back because they know where they're being helped. So it's it, that's the cycle we want. That's the cycle that we want to kind of be in is get them out and back to giving because they've been helped. You know, you were talking about Della. I want to give a shout out to Della because I was in Target um, on Saturday and I overheard a mom talking to another person saying what a great idea she had had to get her kids involved at summer camp at Guadalupe Parkway. And so, you know, you, you hear that and you go, you know, you know that for a person to talk about that on the outside and not be, not be asked to talk about it, but those are those are, those are good things. And uh, so parents can, I think, feel very comfortable with the United Way camps, knowing that they're going to get some quality uh, time and, and and quality people.